I'll reach your right leg up to the sky. Step the right foot forward, just coming towards a knee down lunge. Cushioning your knee, can roll over your mat, use everything you have. Inhale, draw the arms up. Good boy. Exhale, let the arms come back. Inhale, reach up, and you can move in and out of your legs as much as you want, letting yourself sink in. Inhale one more time, rise high. And then this time as you exhale, let your hands come on down. Using blocks if you have them, if you don't, you can totally use a book or something else that might be able to lift you up and sink back in. Pulling back, lengthening the leg, not trying to get it totally straight necessarily, and then sink in. One more time, draw back. If you want to give a little extra pull to stretch your foot, stretch your calf. Hi, Bubba. This is Tank. And then just letting yourself sink back in. And then Yogi's Choice, you can stay high. You might decide to come down towards your forearm. Just coming into a lizard shape. Just a chance to open it up. Good boy, bud. Good boy. And then here, just letting yourself bring your hands back down towards the mat. Probably mat or block at the lowest points if you wanted to. And then downward facing dog. Let's take the right leg up to the sky. Lower the right foot down to meet the left foot. Roll forward to high plank. Lower your shins, walk the arms forward. Puppy pose, just letting yourself sink in. Slide forward, coming down to the heart. And you can either keep your hands underneath the shoulders, come down to your forearms, just coming into cobra, so hips are still on the floor. Good boy, Tank. And then exhale, sink in. Pressing up and back into down dog, maybe rolling through child's pose. You can always reverse the push up if you're feeling in the mood. Take the left leg up to the sky. And then step the left foot forward, knee down lunge. Cushioning your knee as you need, draw the arms up to the sky. And then exhale, just sink in. Inhale, rising. Exhale, melting down. One more time, go high, take an extra moment to stretch up. And then as you exhale, let your hands come on down, probably towards blocks or whatever you have. And then just lengthen your left leg. And then sink back in. This is literally the first time he's ever let me do yoga and he's watching. I probably just think so. <laughs> One more time, draw back. Lengthening your leg, you can reach down for your foot. Give it a little extra pull if you wish. And then this time as you sink in, either coming down to the right hand or right forearm, go a little wider with the left leg. Just coming in towards lizard. And there's lots of different things you could do here. I'm gonna keep it simple for the moment. Give another breath, there might be a little wiggle from side to side. And then when you're ready to unwind it, I'm gonna come into downward facing dog. So just letting yourself unwind, taking the left leg up towards the sky. And then just lowering the left leg down to meet the right. Rolling forward towards a high push up. Shins lowering down, arms heart lowering down. Head coming to the mat. And then just roll yourself forward down to your belly. Either stay on the hands or reach the arms behind you into Shalabhasana Locust Pose. You can clasp your hands too. This time legs might be lifting, but you can keep them down if it's more comfortable. Hi, Bubba. And then just nice and easy, letting yourself sink in. Hands under the shoulders. Reverse the push up or child's pose, but eventually downward facing dog. Here, just the option to get further away from the ground. Take an inhale, right leg up high. Step the right foot forward. Now this time you choose, left knee high or low. Draw the arms up to the sky. And the same type of action, just let the arms press back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, press back. Inhale, high. This time when the hands come on down, Yogi's Choice, left knee high or low. Pull back and lengthen the right leg. And then just bend back in again. I could still be doing this in the half split like we did the first time. Or just getting a little further away from the ground. Next time you pull back, maybe pause for a second, lift the ball of the right foot, lift the left heel, and then just see if you can release them both down close at the same time. Now bend into the right knee, keep the left hand down, either right hand simply to your thigh, or reach it up. If you want to reach the arm behind you, getting even deeper through the side waist, it's your choice. And then as exhale, let the hands come back and around. Take the hands down towards the mat. Down dog, take the right leg up. Bend the knee, open the hip if you'd like. And then just lower the right leg to meet the left leg. 
slide forward to plank and you can stay with puppy or lower the knees, high or low, chaturanga, whether you go to the belly or hover, cobra, maybe you're moving into up dog, and then up and back. Now we're facing up. Take an inhale, left leg up to the sky, and then set the left foot forward, lunging, knee high or low. I'm going high, but it can still be low. Inhale up, and then exhale back. Inhale high, exhale back. One more time, high, and then this time hands coming down to the mat, getting ready to pull back to lengthen the left leg, so just let yourself go long. You could even bend the back knee a little bit here or just shorten your stance a bit. One more time, bending the knee. And this time when you go long, pause there for a sec, lift the ball of the left foot a lot, lift the heel of the right foot a lot, and then just press everything down. Then just bend into left knee, right hand, uh, left hand, excuse me, might come to the thigh. It really is my right hand. I'm doing mirror image. Or maybe open the arm up. You can turn. Just let it feel good for you. And then easy exhale, let hands come around and down. Downward facing dog. You kick the left leg up to the sky, take a pause. And then this time let both feet come to the mat. And then we're going to step our float through towards the seat because we're going to do some